Hey there, it's Mike from drive80.com and today we're going to utilize Giphy to make this little animation and we're going to design it in Illustrator first. And um, yeah, so let's jump into doing that. First thing we're gonna do is open up Illustrator and we're gonna do a new file, a new document that's 1080 by 1080, so it's square. That's typically the size that Instagram and Facebook are using at high res. And make it uh, 72 for screen, make it RGB and that should do it hit ok and then uh, i'm just going to go back to this one since it was already made all right and then to start off with the background image what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a square so we're going to get this square tool rectangle tool right here and instead of drawing it i'm just going to click once and then i'm going to make it 1080 by 1080 and i'm going to hit ok now it's going to be off the screen and i want to center it so all i got to do is um, in my i've got i'm using uh, illustrator Creative Cloud 2015, I should update 2017, but I don't feel like doing that just yet. But what you're going to want to do is find out where your align tool is. It should be on your bar. If not, you could just go in here for align and you can open it up. So here it's got, I have a panel here and I also have it up here, but I do want to keep this together. There we go. I'm going to make sure that it's aligned to artboard. I'm going to hit here to go vertically align and then horizontally align. And then I'm going to hit command two to lock it. I am working in a Mac. Now I do have all those other graphics designed, but what I'm going to do is walk you through how I did it. First thing I'm going to do is get the pen tool, so hit P, and we're going to just draw a line. Now we want to make sure that the stroke is going to be black, that's just what I chose, and then the fill color is not going to have anything, and we're going to create a wire here, because that's what it's going to be. Now the way I'm going to um, get this thing to stop uh, hold, connecting to my pen is hit escape, and I'm going to hit V for Victor. And this line's a little too thin, so I'm going to find my stroke. There we go. I'm going to do stroke up here. I'm just going to increase it a little bit. And I want to do some more stuff with it, so I'm going to open up my window stroke panel. I'm going to round the edges there, and you'll see that you know just caps the edges, makes them round. Next thing I'm going to do is hit L, because I want to get a circle. And I'm going to make this red and I'm going to hit the stroke and get rid of that. And I'm just going to draw like what's going to look like a light and hit V to deselect it. Now I want to get a box underneath that. So I'm going to hit M to get the rectangle tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit by command plus and I'm going to draw a square. Now the square, I don't want it to be the same color as that. Then I get these two, these two objects. I want to group them. So if I draw over them. If I hold down and draw a box over them, the, the two are selected. I'm going to hit Command G. And what that's going to do is going to group it. So if I move either of these, it's going to do that. And I'm going to move that here. And I'm going to hold down Option and drag, Option and drag, Option and drag. And now I'm going to hit some lights. Now if I hit R, it's going to give me a little rotation tool. And this, I want the center point to be in the bottom. So I click once in the bottom and then I'm going to rotate it and hit V to move it over. Again, hit R. Again, you don't have to put the, the, the anchor point there like I just did. Just for me, it just seemed like it was easy. But as I'm doing this, I'm deciding that I don't want to do that anymore. And then I'm going to go, okay, cool. Now I'm going to do that. And you can also, if you hold option, you can drag and you can do this one here to give it like that. You can option click this and drag it and rotate that around but you also want to make sure that your pattern is um, you've got a good pattern so I'm gonna you know have some pointing to left and some to right but I'll do this and I'm gonna option drag hit R to rotate this sucker around and here now I want to change some of these lights to be different colors so I'm gonna hit a for the um, direct select tool and I'm gonna Click on this bulb and hold down shift and click on click on that bulb and make it orange. This one and shift command or shift click that one to do, let's see, green. And let's do this one to be blue. That's fine. Cool. And now we're going to do a little bit of a glowing effect. So let's say that these layers above here didn't exist. What I would do is I would create a new layer. Actually, I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to hit L to get the circle again, and I'm going to make this white. And I'm just going to draw a little circle around this bulb. Now, it's in the front, and I want to move it back. So if I control click on it, I can arrange to back and just do that. Now, if I didn't want to click and and get that uh, 
get that drop down menu. What I could do is I could hold, let's see if I do this right. I could do shift command right bracket to bring it to the front and shift command left bracket to bring it all the way to the back. Of course, it's not going behind the blue because we're on this layer up here. And if we are on this layer here, it would go behind it, but that's not the case. So let me just lock that. And now to make it glow, I'll just bring it down to like 40% opacity. And I'm gonna hit the, uh, I'm gonna hit the R key and I'm gonna rotate it. So it looks like there's like this glow behind here. And I'm gonna option drag this, click and drag to put that here. Option drag it to this one right here. And then option drag it to this one right here. Hit R. Oops, I forgot to drag that along. There we go. Hit R and bring it around. So now it looks like there's like these ones are lit, and I'm gonna want to have the other ones be the opposite. And so the way to do that is I'm gonna have a new layer. I'm gonna click here, and make sure it's above that one. I'm gonna option click on this layer, this previous one. I'm gonna hold down option, and I'm gonna drag this little blue box here up. Now what that's doing is that it's duplicating that entire layer um, once I option click it and then I option drag it, it's bringing all those assets up. I hit shift command A to deselect it. And I'm just gonna move these little glowing boxes over. So that one's gonna go there, this one's gonna go on this one, this one's gonna go on that one. And I'm gonna rotate it a little bit, rotate this one a little bit. And now there's that. So I, so you can kind of see that if I quickly turn these on and off, you kind of see that you're getting this effect. And the whole point of this is really just to show you that, you know, you can use whatever, you know, whatever you think would be cool to have it blink on and off. It could be a snowman melting where they are, it's three circles and then you go one frame that's it's there and the next frame maybe it's just a, a puddle and you can have your sales, if you're doing a sales GIF or something like that that you're gonna upload to Instagram, they could say, hurry until you know this offer won't last or something like that. Just think of certain winter fun things. And the reason I'm talking about winter is because right now it's currently November and and uh, the winter, the holiday season is right here and you're gonna wanna start advertising these things. But again, you can utilize this different, you can utilize this in, you know, around St. Patty's Day, you can have like a four leaf clover that's just moving around or in around Easter time, you can have eggs that are moving around or just getting different patterns on them. But the thing is just use different layers and then um, we're gonna do the next step. So I'm gonna get rid of these, just deleting them. I have some actions and I'm going to take the uh, lights that I previously did, and I'm going to go up to File, Save for Web, which is here. I used to do Shift Option, Command S, which would probably be the better one. Now, just make sure it's on the high quality, your JPEG. That's what you want to do as a JPEG. You want to make it high, and or you could do um, very high. Let's do that. And then you're going to go make sure it's 1080 by 1080. All these things are here, and you're going to save it and then you're going to find where it's going to save. So for here, I've got my samples and I've got, I'm going to name it light one and light two, which I've already done. So I don't need to do all this. I feel like I'm a cooking show that's already got the meal in the oven right now. And then I pull it out in a second to show you that the turkey's done. Um, so yeah, so in that case, that's what you're going to want to do. And you want to save that to the first layer and the second layer. And then you're going to go over to Giphy and we're going to click on here. You want to make sure you have an account, it's free go to create in the top and once that opens up once my internet is a little not as slow choose photo or gif and i'm going to choose light one because it's going right to my folder where that is i'm going to hit open and it's going to show me this image now I, it's obviously not animating but here it says add more images i'm going to click on that and i'm going to go here for browse files i'm going to hit light number two and now I can control how long the duration is where it's gonna go back and forth. So I just click this here, we get this blinking effect. And there you go, that's it. You can have it go really fast. Do, 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 hurry up the sales here. Or you can have it really slow. I don't know why you'd wanna have it that slow, but that's kind of annoying. And there you go. And that's, there it is right there. It's gonna be blinking. And then we go continue. We don't need to have any of this. You could put text in here and say, you know, sale. Um, that could be something you can add. Oh, sale ends 
Sale Neds, sale ends today. I don't know why you'd want to have it end today. You obviously want to do some marketing up to that point or just have it say sale. And it is sale and you could choose different text. You can choose different options. Again, you probably want more control. So I'd probably just do that inside of Illustrator and write that here. But if you forgot to and go, oh crap, I forgot to do that, then there you go. You can just do it in here. So winter sale, there we go. Animation, we can have it wavy. That's kind of cool. Yeah, a little text animation there. That's fun. And that would be that. And I think for this, that would be cool. That looks a lot better. Let's put that there. Now continue to upload. Source URL, I don't need any of that. Tags, Christmas, sale, uh, sale. You can do all that stuff. You can make it public and then upload it to Giphy. And it will now create your GIF. And then you can download it and save it. So you can save it. You could just post the link to the GIF. Or you can download it directly to, let's see here, download it to your computer. So you could do, do the source one. The source one's typically, let's see, what would that be? I think it's going to be an MP4. Uh, da -da. Yeah, MP4, it's a video. So you do a video file that you can upload to Instagram. You could do a GIF file, which you can upload to Instagram as well. See so this GIF. You could upload that to LinkedIn, Facebook, all those, all that stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And then you just hit download and you choose a place on your desktop to do this and then you'd save it. And that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. I'll just go back here. Nope. Um, and if you have any questions, you can, oops, do, do, do. You can just email me directly at Mike at try. I'll make this bigger. Mike at drive80.com. Gonna increase this up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, you can just email me. I'm just gonna style this. <laughs> Mike at drive80.com. If you have any questions, just email me there. You can also add a comment or in the description or the comment box where this video is located at the present time. And that's it. And if this is something that you don't want to do, then you can just email me or check out drive80.com. And these are things that we do uh, create. We are an animation company that does stuff like this. Um, and if you'd like to have more in-depth training, I also do hour-long consultations. And so it'll kind of go over more uh, different aspects you can learn. We can talk about Illustrator, talk about Adobe Photoshop, we can talk about After Effects and Premiere. But the main thing is here is that I'm teaching is utilizing uh, utilizing the Adobe Suite to have more control. But if you don't have the ability to, if you don't want to understand After Effects, this is a great way to learn it. Keep on, keep on.